hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Charlene for those of you who are new and to my loyal subscribers thank you as always for coming back today I am going to give you my top picks for Valentine's Day if you guys celebrate Valentine's Day I have some amazing fragrance suggestions that I think you will enjoy without further ado I'm gonna go straight into it I think I have something for everyone the very first one on my list for Valentine's Day is a very sexy very alluring fragrance this is from Carolina Herrera and this is very good girl I actually think any fragrance from this range would be perfect for Valentine's Day it just depends on what you're going for if you're going for sexy and daring in charge or just you want to be playful any perfume from the good girl range would be ideal so the reason I like this one is because I find it to be a very sexy and seductive fragrance this has rose it has red currant it has vanilla just absolutely stunning it lasts pretty much all day smells so amazing and I absolutely love it you would be smelling absolutely irresistible however you decide to celebrate Valentine's Day very good girl will be a perfect perfect option the next one is from Tom Ford this one needs no introduction if you know you know this is a very sexy Guma de leaning enticing fragrance I get so many compliments when I wear this this is like a sexy bombshell this is Noir Pour Femme by Tom Ford and just an amazing amazing fragrance and it smells good on me it lasts pretty long the longevity is questionable on some of Tom Ford's fragrances but on me Noir Pour Femme lasts amazingly well I feel like it's a very nice balance of all the notes that you get in it you get some delectable gourmand dessert like notes like the coffee you get rose jasmine like so many different facets to this it is just a very unique and interesting blend and would make for a perfect date night fragrance very good girl and noir pour femme would make great nighttime options but you can wear your fragrance whenever you want but this one is simply amazing seductive very grown and sexy in my opinion next up we have my numero uno for 2022 if you looked at my video you know which one i'm talking about this is amber rouge by orientica perfumes amber rouge has been compared to Baccarat Rouge 540X straight for great reason because it smells it's probably one of the closest dupes there is in the market it just smells so good you smell expensive people will ask you what you're wearing because this one is just irresistible and this is airy it is sweet but not overly sweet just such a perfectly balanced fragrance with great performance and just high quality vibe overall you can get it on certain websites i did not purchase mine it was gifted to me by orientica perfumes i absolutely love majority of their fragrances and this one was my number one fragrance because i definitely reached for it and as you can see i've used it quite a bit as well i love amber rouge if you want to smell expensive irresistible and you want to get endless compliments amber rouge is a fantastic option and the bottle is just absolutely stunning in my opinion and I really truly love this fragrance the proof is in the dent in this one I could have chosen quite a few others from this house but I decided to go with crazy in love I feel like crazy in love is a perfect fragrance for Valentine's Day it commands a lot of attention the performance is outstanding longevity is great everything about this fragrance is just a plus 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 so basically you remove the ring or the little charm and then you spray your fragrance but you don't need to go heavy on these they're quite striking and quite potent so if you want to seduce your man if you want to make sure that his attention is fully on you you want to wear something like crazy in love the bottle is kind of misleading because you expect girly and soft maybe it is far from that and i absolutely love it montal makes amazing rose fragrances they use roses in majority of their fragrances honestly so this is very heavy on the rose it has a little bit of airiness it is just a very interesting fragrance and I love her plus she has a lot of the notes that I love rose saffron vanilla chef's kiss crazy in love by Montal Paris we're still keeping it very sexy 
for Valentine's Day, I'm going to go with L'Interdit Eau de Parfum Rouge by Givenchy. This one is sexy. It is daring. It commands attention. It smells amazing. It has tuberose, ginger, blood orange. So many notes that I love and enjoy. It is warm. It's spicy ultra sexy very irresistible i love this fragrance i'm a fan of the lantau d range and all the fragrances are just fabulous in this range if you want a fragrance with very interesting layers that will last long perform well and get you noticed i feel like lantau d eau de parfum rouge will be perfect on valentine's day plus it will match the vibe of the reds and the pinks and you know what I mean? Like sexy lingerie and lentil de rouge. First of all, lentil de means forbidden. So I'm just saying, let's tone things down a little bit. Bombshell Magic by Victoria's Secret or VS Beauty. This one is a little more toned down than the ones I've talked about. This one would be a daytime scent for me. If you're going to brunch with like your Galentines maybe, or maybe a new relationship where you do not want to be too suggestive, you can go for something like Bombshell Magic. I feel like this one is just fruity. It is very pretty, ultra feminine. And although it is beautiful, it is not like sexy in my opinion. And that is why I feel like it's a great option for daytime. It has blackberry elixir, so it has some dark berries. It has peony. It's just a beautiful fruity floral fragrance. It does have patchouli and vanilla in the base to give it some warmth. So I feel like it's a perfect balance. Just very pretty, very feminine. Although it's subtle in many ways, it sits a little closer to the skin. Projection is moderate to me. It does linger on the skin really well. You'd have to get really close to kind of sniff it. It's more intimate and not loud, if you will. So I feel like this one is a good option for daytime on Valentine's Day. I have another pretty girl fragrance. This is C. Fiori. If you want soft, you want Zamir, you want beautiful and feminine, C. Fiori by Giorgio Armani is your girl. I cannot tell how much I've used in this fragrance, honestly, but it doesn't matter because I will cherish it until the very last drop. This has been discontinued. It's kind of hard to find. So if you can get your hands on this, if you enjoy very soft fruity florals with a beautiful base of musk and vanilla, I feel like you'll enjoy this. This is so, so pretty. The very first few that I mentioned are very sexy in your face. I would wear this on a first date maybe. You can wear this in many, many settings. Overall, this is just a very beautiful feminine fragrance that I love and cherish so, so much in my collection. For Valentine's Day, sexy date night, I would go for La Nuit Tresor. You could go for La Nuit Tresor à la folie, or La Nuit Tresor. I would go for this one because I have come to enjoy this one a little bit more. This one is sharper, it's sexier, it has more presence to me. I used to enjoy A La Folie so much. A switch turned off or turned on, however you wanna look at it. I'm high key obsessed with this one. This one is like, I'm in charge, I know what I want, I will get what I want in my stilettos, black dress and red lips, you know? This one is raspberry, lychee, rose, praline, patchouli, just the most amazing blend. I love it so, so much, so, so much. I love the black diamond. It is amazing. Your man will probably propose to you. This is beautiful, this is amazing, this is sexy and downright irresistible. So I love La Nuit Tresor and think it would make an amazing date night option on Valentine's Day. This was launched not too long ago. This is Love Fest Burning Cherry 48. Not only is the name perfect for Valentine's Day, Love Fest, you know. This is a sexy, dark cherry, burning cherry, if you will. It has raspberry, praline, patchouli, palo santo, gayak wood. It's not a freshly picked cherry. I always say it's like a marinated cherry. This one was interesting when I first sniffed it. Was not a love at first sniff, but I love the dry down. It lasts on my skin really long. Most fragrances last for a very long time on my skin. So that might not be the case for some, but on me it performs really well. So if you want a sexy cherry fragrance, 
Love Fest Burning Cherry by Kay Ali is a great option. Bottle is fantastic, matches the vibe. Definitely try it if you haven't. Try it on your skin, see how you feel about it. You might be pleasantly surprised. This one is an underrated sexy fragrance. This is Kenzo Flower Lelixir. This is an interesting bottle, first of all. Very uniquely shaped. Kenzo Flower, the original, was one of my very first fragrances and it's kind of near and dear to my heart. I fell in love, immediately fell in love. I don't feel like the performance is amazing on this one, but I love the composition, I love the blend. I do feel like it's a very sexy fragrance. This one is deep, it is classified as a fruity floral gourmand. To me it's not super gourmand, it does smell pretty amazing. It has raspberry, mandarin orange, rose, praline, and some powdery notes because it does dry down like very powdery but I do like this so much. So if you want something that's not super sexy nor too innocent, enough like a good balance of the two, then I feel like Kenzo Flower Lilixer is a great option. You wanna let him know that you're feeling the vibe, but you're not too eager, you know? <laughs> You can wait. You can let the night slowly progress, if you will. So Kenzo Elixir is on my list because I find her to be sexy, but a moderate sexiness, you know? I have 100 Silent Ways by Nisha Ne. I find 100 Silent Ways to be quite opulent and chic. It has a very luxe quality to it. So just imagine yourself dressed in your Valentine best <laughs> and you want something that is sophisticated and luxurious. I think 100 Silent Ways is an amazing choice. It is not overly sexy. It is not too demure and innocent. It is a great balance. Plus it's slightly playful to me. It's a little airy, it's sweet. It has amazing white florals, which I like, and it has peach in it to give it that nice touch of sweetness. It also has tuberos, which I've been really feeling lately. So there's that. That is a safe choice. You cannot go wrong with this choice. If you're going for that vibe, just chill, laid back, luxurious, sophisticated vibe. I feel like 100 Silent Ways is a great option. These are my choices for Valentine's Day. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What will you be rocking on Valentine's Day? Do you have plans? Do you have a date? What is your vibe for Valentine's Day? Is that something you celebrate? Let us know down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.